The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063, passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. This. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, Petruger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. I gotta get out of here. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one of the UAC is the city. will be all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. 
Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. You better move along. It looks like you've got some important things to do. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central Mars hub City for all scientific research, facility. archaeological Please study, and military operations. Areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. 
I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. Yeah, so those suits arrive too. IBM News Network, your universe now. The Union ah, Aerospace someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces Miller, around here. Hear about Corporal Hope Allen? you enjoy your stay. Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3! happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. That's fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was he one minute, gone the next? Lucky bastard. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. Attention. The whole place Dr. Braddock, is just plain please report to environment management I'm always expecting someone to jump out. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you.
took his sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Didn't you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission. Move out, Marine. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No, what? He said The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please, take advantage of our quality medical care services. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot at me. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. I shouldn't talk about it. It's really not my business. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. 
Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. Kind of busy here. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time, but I gotta keep my eye on this. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. Rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Jeez! Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. This is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God! I can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Help us! This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders.
Squad leader gives sit reps. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down now for that. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. State power systems down and sun level. Back up with life support systems only. We got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders.
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Squad leaders, give sit reps. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure.
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. The we don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up our ammo, establish the stronghold, and keep them at bay. Fire Team 2, fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Hey you! Up here! Quickly! I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. Specialist Wilson, my team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP to fortify your position. We'll find you. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. 
I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my marines sharp and ready to go, but events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no marines of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. The bottom line, Whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. 
I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in Medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. A number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, a number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casian out. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, 
All medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. Any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Ah, sending that transmission is critical to our survival.
I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No. I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruga. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating, but they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Access denied.
formally designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Off-World Research Division. The Alpha... Bravo team reports that some sort of unidentified is taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. It isn't working.
Access granted. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. its vast red desert, rich in naturally occurring iron oxide. They are the raw Warning, EPD laser active. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. The, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. It was a few minutes, although I'm not sure you can see that many. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk. After losing that the brain, I'm not sure he was going to make his actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency methods. Code for the cabinet is 7. Five, two. End of
Gas leak stop. Fire extinguished. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was when Dr. Smith's hand was in the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had... Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, 
The Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Oh, you startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky.
Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrogon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control.
If I don't get the Hydrogon operating within acceptable levels, it could blow. Reaching anyone. I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me.
audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff, September 14, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. If there is some kind of security threat, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own staff. This is Andrew Chin, End. Space age. Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, Let's but go. pushing those developments to even more daring extremes. With an abundant production of hydrogen fuel, scientists have made startling new discoveries in the fields of quantum physics. Marine, Bravo team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head to engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job, and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge money maker for the company, and quite honestly, without my input and hard work, I'm not sure that we would have gotten this far. I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year reports. So I'm certain I deserve a promotion. That Walter out. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our... Dead. 
comes another.